evening. How are y'all? I think I've knocked my phone. Let me see if I can. <laughs> I know I knocked my grid paper. Alrighty. How are y'all? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to give it a moment or two and see who joins me. I know y'all are out there. Seeing where she at. And we're here. Okay. Still don't think I'm straight, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll get it all figured out in a minute. Okay. Where are y'all at? Come along, come along. Let me tell you, I've been trying to decide what colors I was going to use. I'm really excited. This is the first time I've used the Forever Blossoms. And I'm really excited to use it. Um, I was trying to see what colors I wanted to go with. And um, I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> okay. If y'all give me a few more moments, then we're going to get started. This is what I'm going to do. Hi, Susan. I'm glad you're here. Yay. All right. I'm just going to cut my layer here. It's going to go on our card. I mean, I am I am definitely not ready. <laughs> I did not do a whole lot of planning. Hi, Jessie. Didn't do a whole lot of planning for this card. I just decided what's... Um, stamp set. Hi, Debbie. I decided what stamp set I wanted to do and kind of halfway decided which of the stamps I wanted to use. Now I wanted to use a Whisper White Thick for my base. So we've got uh, a Whisper White Thick. Of course, I always have those ready, but uh, I'm just really excited Quick check in. I'm usually, I usually okay, Susan. That's fine. So, anyways, I am using the Forever Blossoms and the uh, Cherry Blossoms dies. And you know that this is a set that you can get this in a bundle and get 10% off, which is awesome. This is a wonderful set. I love these flowers and I love these sentiments and the fonts used on this. So, I'm going to tell you a little something about it. Um, we can now show the inside of our catalog. So, our, um, it's awesome. It starts out and has all the bundles. Well, here's the Forever Blossoms bundle. That's the Forever Blossoms stamp set and the Cherry Blossoms die. It's found on page 16. Oh, I know, Susan, it is so pretty. I'm just, I'm just starting to use uh, my new stuff. But here it is. Look at this. Is this not gorgeous? I love what they've done with it here. With their uh, samples. I love these dies. So what I think I'm going to use is the big stamp and the die that goes with it. Haven't definitely decided on a sentiment, but I'm thinking maybe wishing you a long life together. Filled with love and promise or... And then always and forever on the inside. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, we are going to be coloring with our um, petal um, petal pinks in our um, old olives. Oh, uh, stamping blends. But anyway, if you buy this bundle, this bundle, which is $53, you get the dies and the stamp set that qualifies you for a stamping uh, celebration. And there's some awesome things in this celebration catalog. The Gangs All Mirror, I've got that. The Lovely Lily Pad, I have that. <laughs> the Lily Impressions Designer Series Paper, I have that. <laughs> the Metallic Baker's Twine and Sequins Combo Pack, I have that. Hey, Kathy. 
the happy birthday to you. Now, that one I don't have, but they have just came out with dies for this that you can buy to go with this. And uh, it, they will be available right after the 1st of February. But now, if you want to join my team, you can go ahead and earn them now, <laughs> or purchase them now. The Kerchief Card Kit, that is a... Uh, freebie with $50 purchase. I have that. The Golden Honey Spe Specialty DSP. I have that. It's gorgeous. We've used it. Sending you thoughts. I have this. Now, they've just come out with some dies for um, for this, too. I do not have, did not purchase those yet, so I don't know. I will or not, but anywho's they do have those but now like i said you got to be a demonstrator right now thoughtful blooms now i do not have this one but they have um they have came out with dice for that one too but you, they always have to have a punch but you have to spend a hundred dollars for that but hey that's okay it's okay it's awesome it's worth it i'm telling you and um then we have power of hope now that's a hundred dollar one because it, it's, it's a stamp set and emboss 3d embossing folder plus we have little ladybug now little ladybug is a host set and you can get it free if you have a workshop or a party with me and you get three hundred dollars in sales that might be awesome and i'm going to tell you what if you become a demonstrator you can order the Yes, that they just came out with for this too. They're on their way to me. Yes, 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 yes. I can't wait till they get here. And then I can use this again and show y'all how awesome they are. I am just so excited. But so, like I said, just have a workshop. And you can even use your stamping rewards from your workshop to help pay for your kit, which is awesome. But if you have not heard and do not know, that if you join my team, you get some awesome stuff. You will get one stamp set of your choice from either the uh, the Handmade for You catalog or the Annual catalog. Plus, you get this awesome mini cutter. Look at this thing. Is this not just the most cutest thing you have ever seen? And it's a guillotine cutter. Yeah, see? Boop, boop. It is awesome. It's awesome, awesome. It's about a little over four inches this way, and it's six inches this way. Wonderful, wonderful. Plus, you get this uh, designer series paper, six by six sampler. Now, these papers are from the fan made for you. And look here, two sided from several of the. Look at this balloons. Are these not wonderful? from several of the kits, or the uh, stamp sets. And this is that, um, mm -hmm. that one I told y'all that it's not my most favorite. <laughs> I know. So, <laughs> but, I'm, I, you know, that's because Sharon doesn't wear makeup. And uh, the uh, best dress suite. And look at this designer series paper. Is that not cute? Let's see, the other, the, the other side of that one is not my thing but anywho that's all right look at this tropical is that not to die for is the colors not gorgeous in this oh man 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 look at this look at here look at the back side oh things you can use that for it is so wonderful is that not gorgeous look there mm, who could resist who could resist i know if i wasn't already a demonstrator i would be now <laughs> nope, I wouldn't be able to resist. This is awesome. And this is stuff that you get free if you join my team for just $99 is all it costs to join my team. And along with that, you get to pick $125 worth of products out of either the catalogs. You can choose them from the Handmade for You and or the annual catalog. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then... On top of all of that, you get free shipping. Yep, everything is shipped to you free. Plus, you get uh, business materials. Wonderful. But what is really exciting is all of these freebies. So, if you are interested, which I hope you are, I would love, love, love for you to become a pink stamp, a uh, pink stamper, a print stamper, and join my team. Just 
holler at me and I will walk you through it and help you with it. And oh my gosh, rejoice with you. But let me step over here and close my bedroom door or my crafty room door. The babies have been a little active this afternoon and I forgot to shut it. They've been a little yippy and everything. So anyway, now that my uh, commercial's over, <laughs> we're going to get started on making a card. Like I said, I have not got a whole lot real far in designing this card or anything, but I just knew what I wanted to use was the Forever Blossoms and the Cherry Blossom dies. And Whisper White Thick as my card base. We're going to give it a nice fold on that score line I made and do that. I haven't decided yet if we're going to go this way or this way. I'll decide that probably this way with the um, snap that I want to use. We have our envelope. I have decided to go with this soft sea foam. Thank you, Debbie. And I love this color. I think it is gorgeous, but I don't use it enough. So, tonight we're going to use it. We're going to use it as a layer on our card. And then we're going to, I've got some uh, Whisper White Thick. We're going to cut it down. And that's what I'm going to stamp on because we're going to do some coloring. So, I wanted the Whisper White Thick for that. So, we're going to set this aside. Oh, and we have a piece of four by two and three quarters. That's going to go on the inside for our sentiment. Maybe. I don't know. I may change my mind on that one, too. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. That's very sweet. So, what we're going to do first is I am going to... Mm, you know what? I'm going to cut this out. So, I'm just going to... Let's show y'all. Do my things different than a lot of people do. I like to lay my cardstock down. I think I want about this much of it because that's what I'm going to cut because I'm going to stamp it, cut it, and color it. So I'm going to go ahead and you know what? I am going to get the Stamparatus out because I have not used these stamp sets yet and um, I want to make sure I get good color on my uh, cardstock. So we're going to use the Stamparatus, and I don't know where that come from. Nasty, nasty stuff. Came from somewhere. I'm going to sit this. I think I'm going to sit it right here. I'm just going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. Take my plate. We'll just pull the die case down here to be our stabilizer. Here, when we ink our cardstock, and it does not matter if this is perfectly straight. What I'm wanting it for is to be able to get a good color and a good uh, impression of my uh, stamping. So we're going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black because that's the ink that you use when you're using your stamping blends. does the best doesn't bleed as bad with it as it does if you use the stays on stays on is best with water coloring because water coloring can smear the memento, memento tuxedo black and um it does not do that with the stays on okay do this without handed anymore with my brace <laughs> so I've got to like this I'm gonna tell you I'm about ready to shed this brace I don't go back to the doctor till March and I'm my three months is gonna be up before then I know I can't live without the brace right now but this thing gets in my way it hinders me and it's not helping me because I'm right-handed so you know makes a world of difference okay i'm going to be honest with you this may be as dark as it's supposed to be i am not really sure since i have not used this but i'm going to go ahead and give it another coating of of um ink 
and uh, see if this is it. And boy, I'm wanting to ink up my thumb tonight because I don't know if it's because I can't press as hard with my left as I can with with my right or what. So, I said it may be as dark as it's supposed to be. No, there. Look at there. I had something in my mouth. Lucky. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? I love it. I love it. Man. This. I haven't used so many of mine that I bought. I have not used hardly any of them. I've used my honeybee. I've used my little ladybug. I used the dress to impress. And, uh. Now this. So, see, I haven't heard used anything because I've got several, several. Well, no, wait a minute. I've used my timeless tulips, but I haven't used my timeless tropical, the gang's all near, sending you, sending you thoughts, my Parisian beauty. You know, let me see what else do I have. Oh, I have not used my lovely lily pad or my mountain air or my heartfelt, or my Easter promise. So see, I've still got a lot to use. <laughs> I've still got a lot of things to design and show y'all. And I'm going to have to get busy. Tell you, I have a class on the 14th, and I've got one card designed for the class, and I need to get, I know what I'm, I think I know what I'm going to do for our 3D project. And I've got to design the other client the other card for the class so i've got lots to do wednesday i thought i was going to get all of this done last wednesday yeah right <laughs> did not happen hi shelly i'm so glad you're here yay awesome okay is this not gorgeous i mean just like this could you imagine embossing this if you could emboss this with uh white be awesome gorgeous awesome gorgeous but yeah emboss it with white or man what else could we emboss this with <laughs> oh it would be so pretty i may have to try that yep i think i may have to try that all righty we're going to start out um doing some coloring i do not know if i'm going to do very much blending with this or not but we're going to do some coloring and um I'm going to tell you one thing. The slide is light. <laughs> so I'll probably have to do some blending so we can see it. I may have to replace this um, stamping blend. But I didn't think that I had used it that much. for it. But I think this is probably just the regular way it's supposed to be. This light. But it's, I have to use some of the dark not just the light i think and i'll tell you i have this same issue with writing as i am having with this stampin blend holding it in my hand properly and using it properly but i mean right handed i am not left handed so i have to do the best i can with what i have here and how i can do it and i think it's going to be fine if I do, I think it will be fine. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, man. This just makes my heart pound. <laughs> and talk about a pounding heart. Let me tell y'all what happened to me on my way to work this, this morning. I almost had heart failure. I almost had a wreck. We have a traffic light uh, about halfway between... Well, more than halfway between our house and town, or this grocery store where I work at. And I was chugging along, and the, I had the green light, and um, there was some vehicles in the turning lane to turn left. Oh, you only used your paint. Kind of like a black and white photo with one color as a focal point. Hmm. I would be very pretty if you only used your paint. Yeah, you're right, Jesse. It probably would. Hmm. You have to try that and show it to us. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> 
I wasn't to the traffic light yet, but like I said, it was green for me. And um, there was some cars to turn left there, which is, no, you know, no big deal to me. And uh, one turned, which was fine. He had oodles of time. And then a second one turned, which was fine. The third one, I was most at the traffic light, so I had to break. And there was a fourth one. Now, that fourth one should have sat still. It came to the traffic light and it stopped. I'm more than halfway through the four-way under the light. And he decided he wanted to turn left and not wait. I slammed on my brakes and everything in my passenger seat went, whew right into the floorboard. My heart went with it. I don't think it was in the floorboard. I think it was under the car. It scared me so bad. I could not even move. I could not put my foot on the gas pedal and make the car go. I was, it scared me so bad. And uh, I sat there and I know it was only moments saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because he, <laughs> he, he, he stopped my car, and uh, I very slowly went on and uh, made it to work. By work, I was almost in tears because my chest hurt, my stomach hurt, <laughs> you, you know, I was so scared I hurt, and uh, But, you know, the thing is, if I had to hit the guy or the girl, whomever, if I had to hit the vehicle, the car, I had witnesses. There was people with, there is a bug. Ooh, no, they're not. <laughs> anyway, I had witnesses that saw what happened. And uh, so there would have been witnesses to say, no, that, you know, it was not my fault. It was their fault. But it doesn't matter. You know, it did not happen because God saved me. And I know for a fact that he did. And uh, I'm so, so thankful that he did. So I'm just telling y'all this to please, please, please. Yes, Jesse, that is the light. Be careful. There are people out there that do not use their brains when they drive. Obviously. <laughs> And then I'm going to tell you what, to top it off, to top all of this off, on my way home, we have, whenever we come, when we come out of the shopping center and go to the right, and then we go around and then there's a curve, like, and then traffic light, you can go straight and there's traffic lights, you can take a curve and then come towards Good Hope. So, this vehicle had pulled out in front of me from out of the shopping center and got over into the lane to go straight. I get in, I turn into the turning lane to go up to, to make that curve. And um, I'm almost into the curve and she, and I know it was a she, decides that she wants to turn. So, she puts her blinker on and whoops it over in front of me. I slammed my brakes on. The guy that was in the vehicle behind me was shaking his head like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. And um, I got on up, went around her, and if she didn't try it again, to get over in front of me again. <laughs> and, I, I mean, you know, it just is like, Lord, I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I know I need to be more careful. I need to watch these crazy people a little more closely so that I can make it home safely. And I mean, it's just, I don't know what's on people's minds today. I, 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 you know, I just, I don't have a clue. I have no clue. But all I know is I thank God that I made it home. I made it through my day. I made it to work this morning. That I, that I'm here. <laughs> I mean, I am so thankful that I am here, and I get to color this beautiful, beautiful, I don't know where all this stuff's coming from, beautiful flowers and leaves, and be with y'all, and look at here, I need to color the stem, these stems, you know, I'm going to color them, oh, Olive. yep, 
But so I'm going to cut one of them this old olive. I think it will be a okay and just fine. I don't think I want them brown. I think old olive is what I want for them. Look there. Is that just not gorgeous? All right. Love it. I love it. I don't know what else I'm going to do, but I definitely know what I'm going to do. So we're going to get <clears throat> my big shot over here. And we're going to cut it out because I want to see. I know, Debbie. They're crazy. They're crazy, crazy. So, ooh, okay. I need to clean my plate off here. My mess. It's, it's nicey, nicey. Okay. <laughs> I need to throw this in away, I think. It looks terrible. I think I will. <laughs> I got two more over here. I'll just use them. A little stuff. This is what I, I used these at Christmas. Some you can see where I was cutting out tags on that one. So I think we're just going to use these. Alrighty, we're going to get our dies out. I put all of my um, seasonal dies in these. These are the uh, Stampin' Up stamp cases that you can buy. And now these magnetic magnet things I bought at. Uh, Lows and cut them down. Well, I'm not, wasn't real good straight. You'd think everything that I do that I could cut straight, but no, <laughs> there was no cutting it straight. So, but I did buy some from Stampin' Storage that are cut straight. They're awesome, <laughs> but I have used them all, so I don't have any more. I'm gonna have to order me some more, and they look so much better than these that I cut. Okay, I'm just messing this up. Pretty as you please. Let's get it down this way. Now then, I'm trying to, since I have not done this, I'm I'm just guessing at where everything's got to lay here to um, hopefully cut it nicely. We'll see. And look at there. What I did. I scooted it. Did you see that? I did. Scooted it as pretty as you please. Just, mm-hmm, messed it up. Got to do it again. I have to be more careful when I lay that top plate down. There we go. Okay, let's see how this turns out. I hope it turns out. <laughs> I don't want to come back through. All right. Really? I'm going to have to check Amazon, David. Thank you. Probably a whole lot cheaper than Stampin' Storage. <laughs> I don't know. I really, you know, it's the first place I had seen them, so... I bought some from them, and like I said, I've used them all, so if I didn't, I don't know what I've done with them, because I really thought I had a few more left, but I think I probably did use them all, because all of my annual catalog dies are in those cases. Look at that. I could have scooted it over just a little bit more, but look how nice that looks. I love that. I love it. Yes, I do. Oh, man. Oh, man, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I think I'm going to get the black. Maybe the light black. Stampin' Blend. And uh, do a little in here to get this a little darker. Just a little. I'm just going to flick it around, you know, not color every little spot of it. I just want to just do a little bit here. And I'm using the um, chiseled end instead of the bullet end. And um, I don't think it really matters. But uh, I just wanted to darken that just a little. There. 
Now when it dries, it'll probably be, a, it should be lighter than that. Okay, now the, what are we going to do with this? Well, I don't know. I have not decided. I haven't got that far. <laughs> so, let's see. Maybe put this this away. We want to get our sentiment stamped on here. Up here. Um, this one. Yep, I think we're going to go with wishing you a long life together filled with love and promise. That's going to go on our front and then always and forever on the inside. So what I think what I'm going to do with this is I think I want to cut these out. And I'm going to stamp them on the soft sepa and uh, cut them out from there. And then I think what I will put behind them is some that cut a little bigger and uh, put a backing to it so that um, I'll have some, you know, something different to separate it from the soft sea foam, soft sea foam. So let's let's do that really quick. And I'm going to just put both of them on here. Uh, let's grab let's grab our um, our um, apparatus. I couldn't even think of what it was called. My gosh, a mighty Moses. My mind just went, Phew. you don't even know what you're saying. So we're going to do it like this, this. Let's do that. I know this looks like it's going to be a waste of paper. It probably is, but at the moment, I'm not really worried about it. Since this is a spur of the moment thought. Because <laughs> I was just going to stamp straight onto the card layer. But I thought, no, I don't want to do it like this. So, I don't normally waste paper like this. Cardstock or anything. I mean, really, really, I don't. <laughs> because I don't like to waste my valuable stuff. But, tonight, I'm just going to. I'm just going to. So. Oh, wowie. Let me do that a little darker. Look at these fonts. Oh, aren't these? Look at this. Oh, gorgeous. Just, I know this is not straight down here, but no, this is not even straight either. But that's okay. Once we cut it out, it's not going to matter <laughs> because it's going to be straight then. Ooh. I don't need to do that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me get my stamps just like that. Let's take this off like this, and we're gonna set this over here out of the way. I'm gonna set this over here out of the way. Now, what we're gonna do is decide what we're gonna cut it out with. So, probably now I have not put this in a case yet, but I will. These are the um. Stitch so sweetly dies that I just love. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. I think it's going to be too big. I don't know. Look at this one. Way too big. This one is perfect. <gasps> perfect. Could I not use it in this one too? Why not? Probably won't put a frame around these. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? I'm not sure. I can pop them up. That'll make the difference. Oh yeah, I know what I'll do. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get this out of the way. Let's get these over. Now these dies go with... Oh, there's my catalog. I don't know what to do with my catalog. These dies go with, um, let me find the bundle that goes with. Because, I mean, you know, it's the So Sentiment. They're on page 20. Um, goes with the So Sentiment. This is a bundle also. And it's $48.50. And see, here's all of the dies that you get. 
But see, I wasn't into this stamp set here. It's just, you know. And I thought, you know, there's not anything really that comes to mind that I want to make using this. But I definitely wanted these dies. So, hey, nothing says you have to buy this the bundle or anything. Buy the part that you want. The part that you know you will use. The part that you will get your money's worth out of. And I knew I would with the dies, but I knew I would not with the stamp set. So it was not worth my investment to buy the bundle. So I bought just the dies. Because I knew I was going to use these dies. I mean, look at this. <laughs> yeah, this is not the first time I've used them. And it won't be the last time I use them. This is gonna, these dies are going to be used. So these dies was definitely worth it for me to buy them. And, and uh, so, look at this. This is so nice. Look at that. See, that's stitched. Is that not gorgeous? <gasps> Just makes my heart pound. See, I didn't waste too much. Not too much. And see, this is stitched too. Is that not awesome? And see, this is going to look so good on the inside of the card. Nothing says you can't cut out a fancy frame around your sentiment to go on the inside of your card. You want it to be as pretty and as attractive as the outside. And um, sometimes you just want to stamp on it. Sometimes you want to add some different things to it to make things stand out. I'm going to put these up before I lose one because I would just cry. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to put these in here. And before the evening's over, they're going to be in a case all of their own with on, a, on some magnets whenever I... If I find another one, because I used all of them, so I have to find another one. Anywho's, there we are for that. So we're going to go ahead and put our base on our card. And we probably won't need this, but then I don't know. I have not decided for sure yet. I will not pop up the one on the inside, so I may go ahead and use some uh, Whisper White Thick. So we will have a place to to write our sentiment, but then we can. <clears throat> oh, Debbie, that's awesome. We can um, write down below it. I mean, you know, nothing says you have to have a piece of whisper white on the inside to write a sentiment. You know, write your message on or anything. You can write it straight on to your uh, card layer. So, here we are. Oh, this is cut five and three eighths by four and an eighth, which I love that size. Sometimes I'll go uh, down a sixteenth of an inch and have, whoopsie, <laughs> have a little bit more of a border around it. But uh, on the norm, I like, I have turned that in corner up, so I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Um, I like the smaller frame around it, border. Yep, scooch. Alrighty, I got a scooch. That's why I love my liquid glue. I got to get it off of my, inside of my thumb. Now I've got it on my thumb and finger. I'm gluing, trying to glue myself together, I think. <laughs> the, the glue bottle stuck to my thumb. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All right. Now then, I want to decide how we're going to mount our flower. Be right here. And we can put the sentiment right down here. Or we could go across this way and mount our sentiment. You know... Hmm. 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 Do we want to pop this up? Well, of course we want to pop that up. That was a silly question, wasn't it? Let's get some dimensionals and let's get to popping here. I mean, what would ever think that I would not want to pop this up? It looks awesome. This one needs to be popped up so it's right to look at it and say, oh, wow, because it's going to go whoop right in your face. 
I'm going to say, woo. Where'd that come from? Love it. Love dimensionals. I bet y'all didn't know that either, did you? Nah, I didn't think you did. Nobody would ever, ever guess that Sharon liked dimensionals. Anyway, sure. Anyway, think that I would that I love dimensionals. Get this. Yes, I know I'm overusing. <laughs> That's my middle name, overuse. Sharon Overuse Swafford. Alright, I think I'm gonna get some minis out to fill in some of these smaller spaces here. These little bitties. Let's get some of these up. Here, yeah, look at there. He's not awesome. I love these little beauties. Yes, I do. I think we need one more of you right there. Okay, Alrighty, now we're going to take my snips, my paper snips, and we're going to snip this little mini in half. Just like that. And we're going to come up this stem here, right there. And, ooh, I have some stem here that I think I'm just going to go partial into it. Let me see now. Hmm. Yep, Sharon's gonna have some more. <laughs> and put that really close to that right there. And put this one really close right in here. Now then, let's see if I'm happy with that. Yep, I'm happy. <laughs> That's how I determine how many dimensionals I'm gonna use. I turned it over and said, okay, is anybody saggy here? <laughs> So, now we're going to peel all of these backs off. How many of y'all have gotten the corner of the backing under your thumb and poached under there and made it bleed? Raise your hand. I'm raising my hand. I don't know how many times this thumb has bled under the nail because I have poked the corner of the dimensional paper under there. I try not to grab it at the corner because you dra grab it where it's straight. You don't usually do that. I've not done it there. It's always whenever I grabbed it on a corner because it's just slipped right under my thumbnail and let me know it was there. <laughs> Sorry, I must have. Oh, yeah, something there. Sorry about that. I usually turn all that down and I totally forgot. Cause I don't like it to do all of that stuff when I'm doing a live and I just forgot. Okay, now then, I haven't taken the backings off of this, but I want to see how I want to do this. I may, let's just come across here like this. And then this right here. Let's take these off and we'll see. We okay. started out cool this morning, got hot this afternoon, and it's gotten cool again. So I don't know. We're supposed to get rain probably around 10 o'clock tonight. I don't know. Debbie, I don't know if that rain's coming your way or not. So after we get through with it, we may send it to your house. Uh, no, Debbie, it hasn't helped. It hasn't helped a lot. I mean, it just keeps me from bending my wrist, which when I bend my wrist, it makes the little knot thing hurt. <laughs> but um, it helps. It's it's not any better than what it was. So I tell my doctor when I go back in March, he's going to have to do something because this is not going. This is not working. Let's see. Let's move this up. I'm going it right there. 
Ta-da! All right, now, we're not done because I'm telling you, this is just not done. This is just not done. I have to have something else on here that, uh, that makes it, let me see. I don't want that. Uh, hmm. I'm looking in my drawer seeing what I want to use here. I don't know if I want those or uh, let's see what else I've got. Or do I want these sequins? I want some sequins on here. I'm just not sure which ones I want to use. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some iridescent ones. They're iridescent. I think the iridescent would go best. So let's throw all this back in my drawer over here. My drawer's gotten so messy. I have got to clean it out and straighten it back up. I usually have it a lot neater than that. Now I've got it all messy now. So turn this over. I'm trying to keep from being in the lid. So we are going to take. I'm going to take my. I know this thing's is uh, retired, but I'm going to tell you what, I love my piercing tool. I love it better than the the uh, end that goes to my thingamajig. <laughs> I never can remember the name of this. This is going to be my most favorite thing on this one. <laughs> but I'm going to use some glue dots. I'm going to use these. I'm not sure what color green these are. But I'm going to put some of them in here. And um, honestly, once I get it out of here, this might not be even a green. Yes, a green enough. And I'm going to put them on glue dots. Just like that. Now, I'm going to tell you, the glue dots are a little bit bigger, especially when Sharon doesn't get them on there straight. And I'll show you what I do. I'm going to do with that once I get me some, some of these on my glue dots. So I'm just going to put whatever I want on my, on my uh, glue dots and then I'll take them off and use them how I want to use them. This keeps me from putting it on, use, taking it off, uh, putting it wherever, and then coming back and doing it again. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do it all at one time and then I'll take them all off at one time and come back here a little sequence. And tried to run away. Some of these are smaller than the others, even in the same color. So, whoops, I thought I was going to get the baby to turn itself over, but it didn't. Because look at how small this one looks compared to these others. So, look at there how much of that glue dot sticks. One, two, three, four. I want five for the front. Because I want odd numbers, not even. Look at there. Ta da! Now then, I'm going to start taking these off. And what I'm going to do when I take it off here is I'm going to take the glue dot and turn it under onto itself where it does not stick out the side over on the sides. Because if it sticks out the side, everything sticks to it. Plus, it'll stick to the inside of the envelope. You know what I'm saying? That I don't want. Don't want it to stick to the inside of the envelope. Then they can't get it out without tearing the envelope up. Which is not pleasant. Oh, look at there. Does that not look good? Let's see. That wants to stick out a little. There we go. All right. I'm liking. I am liking this. Okay. Throw this under. Um, while I'm doing this, I want to tell y'all my prayer request for tonight. Yesterday, we had a plane crash at our little small airport. Coleman has a very small airport. 
uh, you know, just uh, personal planes fly in and out of it. That's all just little planes. And we have um, a father and his 10-year-old daughter. They both love to fly. And he had built a plane. They call them uh, experimental planes, I've learned. He built it from a kit. And him and his daughter were going to go up in it. Yesterday morning, do not know yet what happened. They did not get past the end of the runway and crashed. And uh, both were killed, him and his 10-year-old daughter. Their last name are Walker. He left a son and another daughter and a wife behind. And there is no way in my wildest imagination could I ever imagine what that family is going through. But all I know is them and the school, uh, there's the, her friends at school because all the children went to the same school. Uh, they were all in the elementary school and uh it's very hard on them. They, you know, doing all they can for the students, the friends, you know, and, and children don't understand. And even some adults don't understand why things happen. But uh, they desperately need our prayers. And their last name is Walker. So if y'all will pray for them, I would so appreciate it. And I know, I know, I know. Okay, my laptop just went batty. I know that family would really, really appreciate it. Um, I, I just, I just can't imagine. I can't imagine. And um, anyway, would appreciate that. And now then, let's see what we're going to do for the inside. I want to. Lay this down, but I don't want to lay it flat down here because of the fact that, see, it blends right into that green. The uh, the design, the cut, and the um, stitching on this die does not stand out with it both. You know, it, uh, it's off sea foam. It doesn't allow it to stand out. So what I think I'm going to do instead, <coughs> excuse me, of using this four by two and three fourths. I'm going to cut my whisper white a little bit bigger. And uh, in fact, I even have a piece right here. And I'm going to cut it a bit bigger and then I'm going to mount this on the top. Just glue it straight down onto the top. I think that will be fine. And uh, I think we're going to go maybe four and a half. by three is that four and a half by three put this right here plenty of room to write your message here and this is separated from our um, soft sea foam whereas here we've separated it with our foam dots or our dimensionals rather and um it's fine because you can tell the details from here, but you would not be able to tell it on the inside. So let's get this glued down, and we're going to be through with this card. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Me and my mouth <laughs> have talked forever here. But now I'm going to tell you, if you do not have a demonstrator and you're interested in becoming one, or if you would like to buy this bundle and get... A freebie out of the celebration just let me know I would love for you to become a member of my team <clears throat> I always would love to have a new pray and stamper or a customer I love customers <laughs> either way just let me know and I'll be glad to help you do either one or both <laughs> you can do both you know all righty, here we go, ladies. Let me move my paper. <gasps> we did 
didn't do the envelope. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? Oh my gosh, I have to do the envelope. What was I thinking? I was not, obviously. Obviously. <clears throat> so, what are we going to do? I know what we're going to do. We are going to take this bud right here. And we are going to get an A block. I think I'm going to get an A block. Here it is. <laughs> we're going to get an A block here. And, uh, and we're going to stamp this on our envelope. I'm going to pull it down where the stem will be down. Go off and look at that. I made a mess. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait, well, I am not going to fret it. I'm not going to fret it at all. I'm going to have to buy me some more of these big posties. I love them. But I ran out. So I'm going to have to go to Office Depot and get me some more. Okay, let me get my um, pale pink. I'm going to use the bullet end. I'm going to color this. I know I probably need to let this dry a little bit longer where it wouldn't smear any, but look at me. Just smearing away. Okay. We're just going to do like this with the dark. And come back in and blend just a little here. There we go. Now we're done. Ta da! Okay, here we are, ladies. Here is our card for this week. I hope y'all liked it. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Jesse. I'm loving it. You know what? I should have put one, a bud in here, too, but that's okay. When I make another one, I probably will. Yep. I love it. I love it. I love this set. Oh, my gosh. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Just look there these stamps and look there I've left <laughs> I've left cardstock in my die how silly of me I'll have to get that out but anyway thank y'all for coming I am so grateful for y'all I just love when y'all come and visit and watch me create and um and all the sweet things and the hearts and the, the thing that y'all leave thank you so much Y'all have a blessed week, and good Lord willing, I'll be right back here next Monday evening, 7 Central. Y'all get crafty this week. I'd love to see what you're making. Love y'all. Bye.